let's go ahead let's understand what's happening with current in the saturation region let's write the equation first we know that id in sat or saturation region is again given by transconductance mobility into oxide capacitance by 2 w by l vgs minus vtn the whole square now this is quite self explanatory we have already understood that oxide capacitance increases by a factor of s so we will straight away substitute that mobility and 2 remains constant divide by 2 i mean w and l both will cancel out its change so it will be w and l and vgs and vtn both would be scaled down by a factor of s when you take that parameter out it will be s square so what you see is id saturation due to scaling is nothing but id saturation before scaling into s upon s square again s will cancel out so what do we understand that the equation of the current in saturation region after scaling also gets reduced by a factor of s very important and very helpful as we go ahead let's move on the next thing what we need to understand is current density now current density is given by current either in the linear region or in the saturation region divided by area in which the current is flowing we know that area is given by w into l width of the channel into the length of the channel we also know that after scaling area would be nothing but w dash into l dash which is nothing but w by s as the width of the channel is reduced and l by s since we know that w dash is nothing but w by s and l dash is nothing but l by s so let's go ahead and see a dash is nothing but original area upon s square so either we take the equation of the current in the linear region or in saturation region we just saw that the equation of the current is nothing but getting reduced by a factor of s after scaling and area we just saw that is nothing but increases by a factor i'm sorry reduces by a factor of s square so what do we understand here is this is nothing but current density increasing by a factor of s when current density increases it leads to various problems like electromigration which we'll see as we go ahead in the clip right now the current density is increasing so we can easily say that j dash is nothing but s times j is that making sense as we move ahead we'll see another parameter which is nothing but static power dissipation there are a lot of different ways how power dissipation is given in a lot of different print books some people want to call static power dissipation as nothing but the static voltage or the supply voltage vdd into the current flowing across the transistor id at a lot of places you might also find the instantaneous power dissipation at that specific instant the current is flowing between the drain to source terminal so it's given by vds into id now remember this id can be in linear or in saturation and the supply voltage is because it's a constant field scaling and the vds voltage both are going to be scaled down by a factor of s so technically this is nothing but vdd by s into id by s or we can also say that vds by s because after scaling VDS is also scaled down by a factor of S and ID in linear or saturation is also scaled down by a factor of S. This leads us to a very, this is static power dissipation after scaling, very important derivation that the static power dissipation reduces by a factor of S square or the instantaneous power dissipation also is reduced by a factor of S square and this is something which will really really help us because we know that in VLSI or in chip designing power dissipation is one of the most important parameters so this is the biggest advantage of constant field scaling let's go ahead and see the last term of this clip which is nothing but power density power density again is given by power dissipation upon area we already saw that area after scaling is reduced by s square and we also saw that power dissipation after scaling be it instantaneous or static is also reduced by s square so power density technically power dissipation upon s square into area upon s square so i'm taking s square up and this gets cancelled out so power dissipation upon area which is nothing but termed as power density will remain exactly the same in case of constant field scaling there are some other parameters also which we'll see in the following clip 
Stay tuned. Hope you have enjoyed this.